In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to set up Ethernet for iTools software. Firstly, we need to check the 3500 settings by going into config level. To do this, press and hold the page key, observe access, and use the arrow key to select config. Enter passcode 4. Once in config, press the page key and advance to the location of your comms module. In this case, this one is in comms module position H. Press the scroll key and ensure your protocol is set to Ethernet. My address is set to number one. Scroll down further and ensure the unit ID or unit ident is set to instrument. In this case I have DHCP set to fixed and the address, the IP address is 192.168.111. The first three has to match the PC you're using. The fourth one is set to 222. This is a default IP address for the 3500. Once you are clear and everything is set up correctly, press both the page and the scroll keys together and set back to the level you normally use. When you have downloaded the iTools software, go to the control panel on your PC. Select the iTools applet. When the registry settings appear, select the TCP IP tab. This is where you need to add your IP address for the instrument. This one here has already been set up. The default IP address on our instruments are 192.168.111.222. Ensure the IP address corresponds with your PC um, so you can talk between the two instruments. This IP address needs to be the same IP address as the instrument you're about to see on the ITIL software. So to add a new IP address you will simply add Type the name of the controller and enter the IP address. This will then add the IP address of the controller and you can enter that by pressing OK. As this has been set up already, I will just remove that one. And so we have ours already there. And ensure the enable box is ticked. Once you have set up the registry settings, Select Apply and OK. Close down that window and select iTools Engineering Studios. Once the screen appears, select Scan 
and here you can select one or two options. Select the top option which is scan for all devices, all device addresses and select OK. And after a short period the iTool software should see the 3500. This has now appeared and up here you can see the instrument is now trying to synchronise with the software. After a short period the synchronising will stop and you are then ready to uh, download or upload your parameters or do any types of configuration you wish to achieve. After synchronization, the message disappears and you're now ready to communicate with the instrument and use the load facility or the save facility or do any types of configuration you wish to do. And that's simply by just clicking on one of the folders and this will now bring up the internal parameters of the instrument.